Good morning, kids. How are you doing? I have a question for you. You know, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. Do you have your Christmas tree up yet? Better yet, are there any gifts under your tree? I don't have my tree up, so there's no presents under it. It's still in the box. You know, I heard about a little boy one time who was so excited for Christmas that every day he checked under the tree to see how many presents were there. He looked and there was one for him and one for his sister. The next day he went and there was one for him, but two for his sister. And the next day he looked again and there was two for him, but three for his sister. Oh my, was he upset. He was so mad. He ran out of that room where the Christmas tree was and he stomped his feet right up to his mother. And he said, Mama, I'm not happy. Katie has more presents than I do. How am I supposed to celebrate Christmas when she's got more presents than me? Well, he turned around from there and ran into his bedroom and slammed the door. You've never done that, have you? I mean, slam the door. And he sat on his bed and he pouted and he pouted and he pouted. He couldn't even enjoy the Christmas season because he was so upset that somebody had more gifts than him. He didn't understand that the real joy of Christmas isn't in how many gifts we get, but it's how we share what we have with others. You know, in Sunday school, we sing a song about a fellow named John the Baptist. It's called Bugs for Lunch. Do you remember that? In the song, in the verse, it says, if you have two coats, give one away. If you're on the wrong road, go the other way. When Jesus comes, prepare the way. And don't forget your bugs. He ate bugs for lunch. Yuck, 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 he ate bugs for lunch. Yuck, 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 he ate bugs for lunch. Yuck, 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 John the Baptist ate bugs for lunch. Well, the important part of the lesson isn't that he ate bugs for lunch, but that he was teaching the people that true joy comes from sharing, from taking what they have and sharing it with those who don't have. If you have two coats, do you need two? Can you wear two at the same time? No give one away. If you're on the wrong road, go the other way. And when Jesus comes, prepare the way. Tell everybody that Jesus is coming and that Jesus loves them and that they can have real joy in Jesus. And then don't forget your bugs. You know, I don't have presents under my tree, but I found this present here this morning. Don't you like the paper? It's red and white. It looks really, really festive. I wonder what's in it. Let's look and see. It's really heavy. Well, goodness sakes, it's a rock. Do you see what's painted on that? A cross. That's the best Chris Christmas gift we could ever get. That Jesus was born in a manger that he lived his life here on earth among men and that he died on the cross so that we could all go to heaven and have the best joy ever. That's the best gift of Christmas, Christmas joy that comes from knowing someday we can be with Jesus. I hope you'll take some time this Christmas to share that joy with others. Let's pray together. Dear Father, Help us to learn that it is in the giving that we get the best gift, the gift of joy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And amen. Hey, I'll see you here next week, same time, same place, as we come together to learn more about Advent and Christmas together. Have a joy-filled day and rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. Bye now.